I got Cubulus's permission to connect his doorstep to Vortex doorstep. And pretty soon we're going to have a nice little neighborhood going on. Like, if building neighborhoods doesn't make me mayor material, I don't know what will. Oh, hi! Welcome to another slamming edition of me, Mojo, in Gangzi Eco. In today's video, we are going to cook an elk, finish the path between me and Vortex house, extend it somewhere else, and we're gonna build another surprise path. I know it's a lot of road construction, but trust me when you see the end result, and this isn't all of it, you're gonna love it. All right, so I got this elk, and I'm gonna try to cook it. I am going to campfire elk. That's what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make campfire elk. Uh, oops, just one, and we're gonna order it now. And it's gonna take seven minutes. All right, while we wait, why don't we just look at my nutrition here. I need, um, I want a good balance, a little more vitamins and carbs, believe it. It's usually the opposite. These have fat vitamins and carbs. Our fat is doing pretty good, though. I think we have some beets in my house. Let's see what those give. Wow, huckleberries are great for carbs and vitamins, and these are too, but huckleberries, wow, look at those vitamins. I think we should eat a couple of these and see what happens. We're getting so close to a balance. Now we're eating some beets and wheat for good measure. Oh, we can't eat a wheat. It's too filling. Okay, that's as good as we're gonna get. That's not bad. 135. I think skill points a day? I'll take it. I guess Fox and I kind of made a mess of the earth here, so I'm just gonna put this back so it's not a big gaping hole. And I know Doll's a perfectionist, and this is right next to his house. If I don't do something about this, he might go a little crazy. Okay, after all that is said and done, our elk should be finished. Indeed. That's fantastic. All right, let's take these and uh, save them for later, because I'm kind of full now, and uh, I don't mind carrying around that trophy. I killed an elk. I killed it all by myself. I'm impressed. So what we're working on right now is yet another carpentry order for Generic B. What he wanted was a windmill and a water wheel. So they each take half an hour to construct. Um, fortunately, I have a windmill that I'm not really using. I just kind of stuck it on my house last night to see what it would look like, to see if it would be interesting to decorate with, because I don't think I know how to use it for actual power yet. I don't know if anyone can help with that just yet. Um, but then again, Jenny B wants one, so he, maybe he knows what he's doing. He's, he's kind of like my eco-mentor. If I need to know something, Jenny just always seems to know how to do it. So I'm gonna happily give him my windmill and I'm gonna give him that water wheel and in exchange, he's gonna give me some food and he always gives me the best food, so I'm pretty excited. So while we wait for that water wheel to finish, I wanna show something off. This is Vortax house. I helped him build it last night. I furnished almost all the materials. He's completely in charge of the layout though, so. You know, it's not like I worked on it. I just worked on all the materials. But yeah, it's pretty nice in here. I even got him some furniture, some extra chests. And I think he's putting up an ingot store over here. So hopefully we can benefit from that. All right, so I made this stone ramp last night just to test things out. And I, I think I like it more than I dislike it. But let's see what it would look like if we made it into like a proper little path. Okay, so how this would work is I think we would have to dig out the path first. Okay, okay, I kind of see what's going on here. Interesting, so you can't get rid of it with the hammer. You have to do it with the pickaxe and it turns it back into stone, which is interesting. So yeah, we'll have to remake that one, but live and learn. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We'll have to make a lot more of these. Um, have to get a lot of stone in order to do that and I guess kind of what I want to do is hook it over here so we have a nice clean path to Vortex house, whether he likes it or not. I don't have his permission to do that. That's just something I'm going to do. Yay, Jenny B's water wheel is done, which means we can go over there and deliver these to him. Um, 
Or, since he is such a frequent customer, should we make him a little something extra to show him our appreciation? Um, I can newly make things with lumber, so maybe I'll just make him like four windows. See if he likes them. Alright, so we got the windows, we got the windmill, and we got the water wheel, so off we go. Wow, looks like he's been upgrading this place. This is like a, a real organic grill now. Oh, wow, it's so fancy. All right, let's try to sneak inside and see if there's anywhere we can put his stuff. Um, I always put it in his butcher block, so I guess we will keep with tradition here. Oh. Oh, wait, I just put those in there because I right-clicked. I'm like, he already has these. No, those are mine. And we'll put in the water wheel and the windmill. And hopefully we will get some great food in return. In fact, I know we will because it's generic B and he is a great chef. I've never made a bookshelf and it says it leads to a town hall. I, I cannot appreciate what that means just yet. But if nothing else, I think it'd be a great decoration. And paper is certainly an ingredient. We will need 73 papers and hopefully I have enough to get there. All right, I do. So I guess we can start on the paper. That's gonna take a long time because there's 73 of them. And then we will just have enough lumber, so that's good. And then we'll be bookshelf bookies. Okay, it looks like while we were out here uh, digging around, Jenny B came in and repaid my kindness with ooh, some roasts and some charred beet. Nice! This is a good reward. Well worth the effort and materials expended. Thank you, Jenny! Okay, we finally finished the path. It's a nice long path, nice and smooth stone, all the way up to my house from Vortax house. So yeah, he can uh, cart some ingots up here easy peasy. Additionally, my paper should be more than done by now, so I bet I could make this bookshelf. Oh, I can. Yes. Okay, here it is. Um, I don't have a lot of room left in this house, so let's just uh, place it anywhere, I guess. Rotate. Rotate. There we go. Um, this will have to do. I hate that it's blocking the window, but it is what it is. And cool, we got a bookshelf. So I'm getting a sneak peek into Jenny B's bakery. This is the wheel I made him. This, this is like baking table. I guess it's like powered. This is amazing. Oh my god. We're going to eat like kings. He's going to make so much good food. So I have my last three pieces of stone path here and I'm going to lay them down and they're going to connect me and Vortac all the way over to this original community hub. I'm hoping I can con continue out from here just connecting people and things. It takes a lot of calories because I have to dig up the dirt and the stone and then of course craft it all which takes a lot of time. For some reason stone just takes a lot of time but look how worth it it is. This is great. It's so much better than just jumping up and down hills. So I'm in Vortex semi-secret super mine slash dump of ingot waste and what I'm doing is carefully mining some stone to make path with because I got Cubulus's permission to connect his doorstep to Vortex doorstep and pretty soon we're gonna have a nice little neighborhood going on like if building neighborhoods doesn't make me mare material I don't know what will so I'm thinking if I put the ramp here or thereabouts I would have liked to anyway it's blocked oh I think I know why Get rid of these. Then maybe this will go a little smoother. We can put that right where we want it. Right here. Oh yeah. So then all this will get replaced with stone. And I think I screwed up. I think I screwed up, yeah. I wasn't accounting for the fact that this layer is already taken care of. Uh-oh, we're gonna have to fix this. That's Cubulus working on the other end of the road, so hopefully it'll come together in a way that makes sense. 
Uh, teamwork makes the dream work. Cube is gonna make the part of the road closest to his house up to the ramp, and then I'm making a couple ramps down to his because he's a lot lower than Vortac and I geographically. Uh, a lot higher in building skill, I'll give him that though. Okay, oh, do you need another ramp or do you have one? Because I have another one if you want it. Yeah, if you had another one, that'd be great. That was my last yeah. ramp. Okay, let me grab it. But what I was wondering, do we need to move these ramps? Like, do we need to move this ramp a little, like get rid of these two blocks and move this one that way to make it fit? Let me go I, look. I think we can make it fit, right? Yeah, let us let me go look, let me grab this ramp. Wow, your place is looking nice. I like the oh, upgrades. Thanks. Thank you so much. Do you want me to put the ramp like right here next to this thing? Uh, yeah, see if you can connect that up. We have to dig out a little more dirt. Here, let's do that. It's easier with two people on. Much. Okay, let's try that. There should be enough room. Yeah, it is. It's the only problem is it, it feels like it needs to go. Oh, See how, yeah, like if we just moved it back gonna... one block, it would be perfect, right? Right. So I'm wondering if we should, um, how would you feel about removing these four blocks if I did that and I'll replace them down here? Yeah, let's do that. Will that work for you? Definitely. All right, awesome. Thanks for being flexible. Whatever oh. makes it work. Awesome. Okay, I'll grab these. Or I'll let you grab those materials. I'll go grab the ones up here. Awesome. We're such a community here. <laughs> I know. Look at us. Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work, apparently. That's what I just said earlier. Oh, did you really? Yeah. <laughs> nice. It'll be nice to eventually have a road all the way to Generic Bee's house to buy some food. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing a cart. Right? As long as it doesn't fly away when you... Right. When you leave it somewhere. That's what mine did. It flew away and ended up at Vortex Mine. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I set one down once and it just... It was like a rubber band. It just took off into the air. Thanks, Mojo. No, oh, thank you. I'm glad we're a real neighborhood now. That's right. Thanks, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Looks like here's the finished product. Oh, we did such a nice job. And now it's a real neighborhood. We can go right into Cubulus Inc. Oh, and even put up the chairs I made for him. Oh, what a cool guy. What a cool house, too. This is lumber. This is a lumber roof, too. It's so nice. So I guess that makes this kind of the elite part of town because as far as I can tell, this is the only area with a stone path as opposed to a dirt one. And honestly, there's not a lot of paths at all. We're lucky to even have the dirt ones. Thank you guys so much for watching another exciting edition of me, Mojo, in Gangzi in Eco. I'll see you next time.